You know, America always had a plan that was from God. More and more and more, I see more people conforming. But nobody seems to understand what they're conforming from and where they're conforming to. When you think about the world today, there are more conformists out there than there are people that are non-conformists. The non-conformists are the now that have now become the truth tellers. It is very strange to see what is going on. When I grew up, for example, people acted a certain way, and they behaved a certain way, and they got the same behavior back. But since around the 1990s, everything has been changed. Everything has been jumbled. The non-conformists have become the truth tellers. They're the ones that speak of the glory days. Yet those glory days are not that far away from us. They, they were in the 1990s. That's only 2015 now. It's only been like, what, 20 years since this change has happened. Those are not really the glory days. That's pretty much just like a few years ago. This change is not for the better, folks. It is for the worse. You know when Obama stands up and says, I promise you change? He's talking about a bad change. He's not talking about a good change. He's talking about a bad change. And he got everybody believing it's a good change. I'm not going to talk about that too much either. In this video, I want to keep it to conformity. When you conform, you are leaving something. What you are leaving now, when you become a conformist, you are leaving God and you're stepping over to Satanism. You are saying, it's okay. And I know you don't believe that. But how can you talk about the Illuminati? and call them evil and satanic, but then love the television shows that they produce, and then follow those television shows, and act like the people you see on those shows, and dress like they do, and drink the same drinks that they do, drive the same cars that they drive, want to have their lives, want to be them. Do you see it or not? How can you call the Illuminati evil, but yet at the same time, love the television shows, worship the, the celebrities they pump out, by the CDs that they make. You understand it's industry, right? The entire entertainment industry is run by the Illuminati. It is actually the, the hold that Satan has on the West. It is a tool. The entire entertainment system is a tool against you. Because if they can keep you occupied, then you won't be focusing on what they're doing. That's the whole tactic. Keep you distracted with the newest television show, like Game of Thrones. And then, they're behind the scenes working evil deeds. Changing laws, making things worse for you. Haven't you noticed that since the introduction of television, that the, the country has literally gone to hell? Seriously, since the introduction of the television. You can pinpoint it on the map. As a matter of fact, I might just one of these days make a map for you all where you can actually see the timeline. Like from when Janet, John F. Kennedy got shot, what all bad went wrong. Well, when television came in, what all went wrong? You have to understand that the television, as much as you like your television shows, is the ultimate tool for the government. Because they can just go into everybody's households, they know that around 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, people are all going to sit around the television and watch the news, and they can pump fake news to you. They can pump stupid news to you. Such as, while they're in Iraq blowing up women and children, they'll be pumping to you, uh, tonight, at 6 o'clock on the news, a kitten is rescued from a tree. They'll be telling you about inflated footballs from the NFL. It's all a tactic to keep you dumbed down, to keep you stupid, to keep you inside that bubble, to not let you know what's going on outside in the rest of the world. And every time America is attacked, they say, look, these big bad bullies are attacking us. And since you live in that bubble, in that TV world, <laughs> you know no better. But they're the ones that are attacking, and sometimes these other countries counterattack. You have to understand what's going on. I miss people that are nonconformist. I hate people that are conformist. I don't really hate them. I mean, I feel sorry for them. I put it that way. I wish everybody went back to just uh, God loving, God knowing, God seeing. You're not going to find God if you're not looking for him. That's how you have to find him. That's why every atheist goes, there's no God out there, even though all the evidence is out there to prove that there is, and I'm not going to go into all the evidence, but if you'd like me to, I'll make a separate video of that. Point being, it's all a scam on you. Every news journalist is pumping out fake news, they know they're pumping out fake news, and they're trying to do it to keep you occupied so that you will not focus on the real issue. And when people like me come out, 
Well, they seem to have a way to block views on my YouTube channel. That my subscribers get my new videos, but they don't really get promoted. They don't really get thrown out there. Why would they want that? People like Alex Jones tells you the truth, but he brings in a lot of commercials and it's quite annoying to watch them sometimes, and he talks like a radical. So do I, but not in this video. Once again, point being, he knows things, I know things, and a lot of people know things, and these things that we know are not going to go away just by hiding from the truth. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, and I hope you'll please, I beg you to listen to me. Political correctness is what psychopaths use on people. But that tactic is really called throwing your dog a bone. Not only is it throwing your dog a bone, it's projection as well as gaslighting. But let me tell you what throwing your dog a bone is. If you're with a woman as a man and you notice her behavior is out of whack and you think she's almost psychotic and you're about ready to call the rubber room on her. But then she turns around and does something really sweet for you and really caring and make you love her again. That's throwing your dog a bone. You see, they know they're evil. And every time you catch them being evil, they throw you a really good, big, juicy, niceness bone back. You eat the bone and forget about the evil time. That's what I said. Throwing your dog a bone. What is projection? Projection is taking your own behavior and putting it onto somebody else. If you're a thief, you're automatically going to think that everybody else is a thief. If you are an adulteress, you will believe that everybody else is also an adulteress. You are your own behavior and you project it onto others. That is projection. They keep you in a bubble on purpose to keep you dumbed down and stupid. Meanwhile, they're force-feeding you medication that you're not even aware of, such as fluoride in the water, to keep you sedated. They are treating you like cattle. And now they're even bringing in the cattle rustlers, the police state. This is not a joke. This is bloody serious. And I hope you all start understanding that I'm, I am serious, and I'm trying to bring you the truth, and I want you all to wake up. It, it will only stop when you do wake up, because you have the right to reject it. But if you only see the benefits of it and the perks of it, then you're not going to want to reject it. Like with uh, Obama, with this Obama phone, for example, never in the history has a president gone out and bought the people's vote with a telephone. I mean, come on, folks, that was such an obvious fucking bribe. <clears throat> Anyways... I think I'll make this a part two video, but this is going to be part one, but I can only record in 10 minute intervals, so for you to just do one long video. Point being, guys, you have to wake up. You have to understand what's really going on. And I would love to tell you the story in full detail, like how it really works. But I don't want you to listen to me. I understand why the weather is changing. I understand a lot of things that you don't understand. And I would love to tell you guys that, but sometimes I don't think you'd listen to me long enough to even hear it. And lately I've been getting a lot of nasty comments and a lot of thumbs down on my video. Gee, I wonder who that is. You know, last week I posted a video and I got 10 thumbs down in like 20 seconds after I posted it. And then I looked at my other videos and there was exactly, again, 10 thumbs down on all my videos, 10 thumbs down. So who's doing that, hmm? <laughs> is it one of my viewers? Or is it somebody that doesn't like what I have to say? But what I have to say is nothing more than what every other pro nonconformist is saying. We don't sell out. That's what being conformist is. You're selling out from God and turning over to Satan. Don't sell out. And you know what? It's also written in the Bible that if you do sell out, you, you know, you can just forget about any afterlife. This is all written thousands of years ago, and it's happening today. And yet you all still say the Bible isn't real. But if I ask you what makes you think it's not real, show me what you believe, what parts you think is not real, you have no answers. You come up to me with just stereotypical comments such as, Oh, it's been corrupted. Show me the corruption. You can't do it, because it's not there. 
It's just a false argument to keep you believing in what you believe. Okay, back with part two. It's still part one for you, one long video. I was just I just had a pretty amazing thought, and it goes like this. Atheists always use the Old Testament to justify why they are atheists and how God is so-called not real. Yet Christianity has the New Testament. The only people that use the Old Testament today are the Jews, not the Christians. We follow the New Testament. So why are the atheists mostly after Christians? You never hear an atheist really talk about Muslims. You never really hear them say Allah is not real. <laughs> you don't hear them talk about that, now, do you? No, because they're afraid of what happened in Paris. <laughs> it's so clear, guys. Don't you see it? The Jews, they believe in the Old Testament. The Christians believe in the New Testament. And Islam believes in the Quran. And I believe, and so do many other Christians, that the corruption of the Bible is the Quran. And I know you all don't like to hear that, but... The fact of the matter is that Islam didn't come by until five hundred, uh, almost 600 years after Christ died. There was no Islam until then. So there's 600 years since Christ died where there was no Islam. So how can the Bible be the corruption when it was around way before Islam was ever even thought of? I'll just leave it to that on that for now. Let's get back to the conformity. <laughs> You know, you could see it rising in the world. Anyone who was, like, born around 1970 could have seen it rising in the world. Things such as Apple, Starbucks, these things that fed people's ego. There's people that actually go out and buy a Starbucks coffee, knowing that the coffee tastes like moose piss. But they drink it anyways just to have the cup. So they can walk around, I'm sorry, so they can prance around, acting like they're very rich and very spoiled and very... Better than you, because they have a Starbucks cup of coffee in their hand. It's the same with Apple and iPods. I must have the new iPod 4. Oh wait, new iPod 5 came out. Oh wait, new iPod 6 came out. Oh, 7 came out. So even though that their iPod 1 still works perfectly fine, they have to have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They gotta keep up with the trends. You see, that's what trends are. That's exactly what trends have always been. The trends of the world is what's been destroying the world. Trends are created by your government, folks. They are created. Let's not forget who owns the movie industry, the music industry, and the entire entertainment business. It's the Illuminati. So if they own everything, why would you follow them? And if they're telling you to conform, why would you conform? Because you agree that they are evil, why would you give in to evil? Ah, oh, Mr. Ward on fire, it's because it's seductive. I'd like to watch my TV episode every week. I need to know my sports updates every week. I need to play the game. Right? So you're conforming, but you're also selling out. And that's what conforming is. It's selling out. You're selling out on God and stepping over to Satanism. It is Satanism. And you, once again, Jesus Christ said it himself. You can always tell a tree by its fruits. So let's look at what Apple's fruits are. Nokia's fruits have been. The government's fruits have been. Let's just look at it for a second. Let's take the females. Narcissistic. Histrionic. Borderliners. That's what we've gotten now from them. Hysterical females. <laughs> Who cry rape every time a man accidentally brushes up against them. Narcissism, folks, as we've already established, is pure evil. So, now we see the fruits of its labor and their bad fruits. So we have a bad tree with bad fruits. So what do you do? You cut down the tree and you start over. That's all you can do. But nobody wants to do that. Just like uh, Mr. Winston Churchill said, America, you can always count on Americans to do the right thing after they've always done, after they've done the bad things. 
So like after you tried everything else, then you'll do the right thing. And that's how America will bounce back from this. If you're on time. You see, your government wants you to conform. The Illuminati wants to take over. And they will take over, bringing a one-world government, a one-world religion. Do you understand this? And a one-world currency. Stop thinking that the Mark of the Beast is an RFID chip. I have mentioned in other videos, several other videos, what the truth is about that. You have to understand what's really going on. If you don't understand, you will be eaten up alive because you are living inside the box. And if you live inside the box, all the hysteria inside the box will affect you. If you step outside of the box, then you can have a way better perspective and your, and your horizons are a lot brighter too. Because you're no longer stuck in this box being force-fed stuff that you don't actually need that's just brainwashing you. So, like I said, when a psychopath abuses somebody, they use certain tactics, gaslighting, you know, all these tactics that I mentioned before. But your government is using the exact same tactics. They've even cloaked it by calling it political correctness. Political correctness is walking on eggshells. You are walking on eggshells. If you look up the term walking on eggshells, it means not to offend anybody, not to harm anybody, and to never get on somebody's nerves. So what you're doing is you're basically no longer being yourself because you're constantly afraid of hurting somebody's feelings. So you're basically walking around scared. You're afraid of a lawsuit. You're afraid of somebody stepping up to you. You're afraid of being shot. You're afraid, 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 afraid. And your governments have been using that. They even say to you, bluntly to your face, never let a good crisis go to waste. They're not letting it go to waste whatsoever. There is so much more I could tell you. So much more. But I haven't been doing it because I know you guys won't listen to me if I do. You'll think I'm wacko or something like that. Yet I have been able to prove everything that I've been saying. And I will prove it to anybody who wants me to prove it to them in the comment box. Don't conform. Conformity is wrong. I mean, you're basically just turning yourself over to globalism and commercialism and saying, okay, I'm a sellout tool. Why would you be a sellout tool for? Stand up for what's right. Stand up for men's natural rights, such as reproduction, marriage, and children. Now, I know you all keep blaming marriage, going, oh, marriage is crap, la, la, la. That's just excusing... Uh, throwing away something that was really good because you screwed it up. Instead of fixing it, you just want to throw it all away. Don't you think that's kind of lazy? That for the last 5,950 years, marriage was pretty decent until around 1955 came about, and it all started going downhill from there. So now you just want to throw it all away? Throw away something that worked for 5,950 years because for the last 50 years it's been wrong? So instead of fixing your faults, you would rather just throw away the whole thing? Now I know a lot of men are going to go, oh yeah, throw away marriage because you're ignorant. You're stupid. You're fucking stupid. You don't see the grand picture. You don't see the grand scheme of things. So shut up blaming marriage when it's your damn fault in the first place marriage has gone to hell. Where were you to protect it? Where was your father to protect it? Where was your grandfather to protect it? Where was your great-grandfather to protect it? Where were they? Because the last civil war in the United States, for example, was a long fucking time ago. What do you all think? Oh, one, one war and then we'll have eternal peace? What about protecting what you have? You all then protect shit. When the feminists came in and started conv convincing your wives and your girlfriends and your mothers and your daughters to go out and start uh, becoming independent, where were you to put your foot down saying, Hell no, this is my woman. I need her at the home. Where were you? You're all like, yeah, free, equal rights is good. Yeah, women should have their freedom. Yeah. Like little weaklings, spineless cowards. Men are men. Women are women. Men have their roles. Women do not need to step into our world. They do not need to pretend to be they are men. And every woman that pretends to be man, a man is wrong. And you can say, oh, what makes you so right, Mr. Wardrums Fire? Well... My knowledge comes from somebody who is divine, who wrote a book thousands of years ago, and the book that is pretty accurate today. Where does your knowledge come from? The internet?
I'm not calling myself better than you, but I am saying I'm pretty damn well educated. This is Wardo's Fire. See you guys later.